Today, a city council committee surprisingly said no to a $145,000 workers' comp claim from one of the police officers involved in the beating of Jaleel Stallings. I say surprisingly because almost every time the city just signs off on these payouts, and today a lot of back and forth happened between the council members present. Lou, you were there to hear all of it. Now you're here to tell us about it. Hi. Yeah, Janet, it was a four to one vote as this time even council members who've said in the past that their hands are tied when it comes to PTSD settlements voted no in this case. The, parking lot in the, north running. the body camera evidence of the actions of former MPD Sergeant Andrew Battelle made an impact on Minneapolis City Council members. All right, we're rolling down Lake Street. The first because we see we're just hammering them with 40s. Yes, sir. During the riots that followed the murder of George Floyd, Battelle led a group of officers in an unmarked white van that beat Jaleel Stalling who returned fire but surrendered when he realized there were police officers. Stallings received a $1.2 million settlement from the city, and after leaving the department in 2022, Battelle made a workers' comp claim for PTSD. A city council committee was expected to approve the $145,000 settlement. Nay. But the committee... We have one eye and four nays. ...rejected it. This is, at least in my understanding, the first time that the committee has taken action to not approve what has been dozens of... PTSD settlements that have cost not only the city but taxpayers uh, predominantly over $20 million. Councilmember Robin Wansley has voted no to PTSD claims for police officers over the past two years, but the council has passed them because the city attorney's office advises them they pay much more in a trial. In addition, prior misconduct is also largely not relevant to whether an employer is obligated to pay benefits. As city staff informed the committee after the vote, workers' compensation is a no-fault system, meaning it's not relevant whether the officer is at fault. I'm not going to make decisions that's going to cost the city more money. Latricia Vita was the one council member who voted to approve the settlement. She said it had nothing to do with the Stallings case. Now it's being referred back to the lawyers. They're going to go back and have to look at it again. So not only are you paying for more staff time, but his side could sue us for more money now. There has been continuous concerns from the public around why aren't we challenging um, these claims. Wansley says the public is tired of the council essentially rubber stamping PTSD claims. There are a number of officers that had extensive histories of misconduct, some of which has been documented as we saw in the case of Mr. Battelle. We've also known that there was a pathway of certain officers using PTSD as a way to flee the department. Now the case is sent back to the city's legal team, which will have to decide what to do next. In a statement, Mayor Jacob Fry said, I understand the council's frustration because I share it. Generally, these settlements are approved not because the city wants to, but because the alternative could be more expensive. That was the reason for the city attorney's office's recommendation today. And a city spokesperson also sent a statement that adds, denying liability based on past discipline, misconduct, or poor performance is not allowed and would not be upheld if challenged. Often settlements are reached where lump sums are paid out for a fraction of the expected liability. So, Jenna, that's what we have to wait and see mm. if they end up having to pay Battelle, and if they do, will they have to pay more? Interesting. So for folks at home, they may not follow this as closely as someone like you does. This was a council committee, they would notice there, mm -hmm. not the council full. So is that what you refer to when the city it has to decide what it's going to do next? Yeah, or so does the, it just the, go to the council? The committees make a lot of these decisions, then forward it on to the council to give it the final approval. But in this case, they voted no, and they did not forward it on to the city council. So now it goes back to the city attorney's office uh, to try to figure out what to do next. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it, Lou. Thanks yep. so much.